Okay, earlier today I got the Mio EC in the mail, and it's a um, magnetic uh, lock again. It's got seven of these magnets per side, so 14 of them. Fortunately, only three of them per side are have a little spool in there to interact with, so I only have to pick six of the um, six of the uh, of the pins. Um, fortunately, I know which six they are, and um, it has a ball bearing on top, but that's just to retain the key. Um, so you so you can't get it out. And so as long as you don't push that up, it doesn't really play a role. Uh, it's locked, unlocked, locked. Um, the different uh, spools, the magnets, each have a polarity, north or south. Um, for me, I don't know which which, so mine are red and green. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'm not a master yet. I. I have something printing on the 3D printer, so I, I didn't even get to print a uh, handle for this. So it's going to be a little tricky just to use this little thing. Um, and I didn't even mark depth marks or markers or anything because I, I just kind of got into picking it. Um, as long as I don't push that ball bearing up in there, I should be fine. And let's get to picking. Warning, this is going to be kind of loud with lock sounds because I'm going to turn on the uh, mic. So if you need to turn down your volume, you should do it now. Here we go. So with no tension, I can hear that first one go like that. And the third third pin I can hear there. And there's the sixth pin. Okay, so those are the, those are the three I'm gonna wanna set. The right side on mine binds first. Uh, and the left side doesn't bind. And I can, I can tell um, because when I put tension on, I lose a lot of the sound on the right side, whereas on the left side, I still have all my sound. That tells me that the right side is my, my first binder. So I'm just going to start at the front. And I think I got the first one in a, in a, in a set, sorry, can't think of my words. Not too sure I might have the third one set. That's the sixth one I'm working on right now. He might be set, but I might have lost something up front. Check the left side, it's still loose. So that means that my right's, my right's not done. So I think I lost the front ones when I got the that sixth one, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Again, I'm not a master yet. I just got the lock. Let's try this first one again. Third one. Caught something on the spool. I really need some depth markers on this, uh, this pick. But I just, I just kind of slapped it together really quick. You can see the paint's all peeling on it. it didn't even, yeah, it's pretty sad. Just this third one I gotta set. See, I don't know the difference between those two clicks, which one's going in and which one's going out. I need to catch it on the one that's going out. Check this left side. All right, we sound like we're set on the right side. So let's go ahead and work on this left side here. First, let's see. Okay, the second pin there. I 
to cut it on the middle of the spool there. Which sound do you think is it? This sound? That sound? The one in between? That's the first pin. The second pin. I'm afraid to let off too much tension, I'll lose my right side, right? But if I don't let off enough, I won't be able to get my, uh, my pins past the shear line. Should I try looking for another pin? Let's try looking for another pin. Mm, four. Pin one. Pin two. It's just pin two. The one that I can't figure out. Pin two. Let's see. Sorry, I did turn my nose. Come on, pin two. Pretty sure it's you. I don't hear pin four anymore though. I hear pin one. I don't hear pin two. Did I let off too much? I have a feeling I let off too much. No? I feel like I lost something there. I feel like I pin I feel like I got pins one and two, just make four. Yep, it was like that. So we're open. I don't know how much time we are in, so we'll hurry up a bit with the uh, with the gut. We'll zoom out like we do. We will turn on autofocus, move the camera down, not with that knob, but with that one. Okay. Ooh, turn off that mic again. All right. Put that down there. Get that out of the way. Bring out some tools. And, all right, I won't zoom in yet. I'll do some of these bulk things. Um, this this uh, screw here with this 
um, spring keeps it centered, um, snaps the lock back to center. Actually, I'll go ahead and lock it back to locked. And this C-clip, for whatever reason, it, it hangs half off like that, so it's nice and easy to take off. Um, that allows us to take off this back plate here and expose the two Bibles, the two black things there. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I didn't bring that. I usually have another thing to, to hold it with. Um, but let's see. I'll turn it part way like that. And let's think. Um, in another video, I'll demonstrate what to do if you if you brick this. It's not really bricked, but um, it's easy to recover from. So if something bad happens to you, I'll show you how to get out of it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just hook that like that. And um, I'll start pulling bits out of this. Now, it doesn't really matter which way these face because I have the key. And that'll help me put it back together. I just got to know which hole it came from. So seven, six, five... Four. Okay, so I got a pin and pin four. I got a pin in hole number four. So there's number four. I'm gonna put that uh, here on slot four on the left side. Um, there's a spring that goes with it for four. Uh, three. There's two. Let's grab number two. Two. Again, these matter. Uh, if they're pointing in or pointing out, I don't know if there's a way to tell which way they go around other than without the key. So if you don't have a key and you care about the bidding, um, then you need to maintain the orientation of those. But if you don't have the key, why do you care about the bidding? Um, all right, so that's sidebar, or not sidebar, sorry, Bible, Bible number one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this back around the other side. I'm having the bottom face towards the Bible so that none of these little things drop into unknown holes and stuff like that. I'll go ahead and lift the core up so that this bottom falls out and I'll grab it on pin 7 because I know there's nothing in there. And then I'll start to pull up. There's a pin, pin 6 has something and I just lost it here down into the keyway. There, number 6 on the right side. A little spring. Uh, five, four, number seven, six, five, four. This is number three, and it also went into the keyway area. So that's number three with a little spring, and finally number one, and that fell down all the way inside. So with a little spring, and that's that right side. Bible. Um, okay, I can. Do I see it? It fell all the way down. So once I pull this out, hopefully I'll have nothing to be magnetized to anymore. Okay. I don't know where that last pin went. There it went. If you can't solve it, slam it into something. It helps. And then you got the ball bearing. Um, so let's go ahead and zoom in some on this. So you can see what's going on. All right. Um, so there's your, your plug. And it's just got these holes for the, um, for the spools to sit in. So when they're at rest, the spring is pushing them into this the, the spring is pushing them into this plug here, okay? And they're very, very low-powered springs. So when you put the key in, they're opposite polarities, and it actually repels. Well, that just flipped over. You didn't see it as really quick, but it repels this out. It's going to flip over when I, well, all right, it repels it out, right? So it pushes it out, and um, once it's clear of the plug, you can turn, right? Once you got them all plug, clear. clear. So that's kind of how that mechanism works. Um, these springs are super, super lightweight, like no, no spring force almost. So it's really easy to recover from a bricking, which like I said, I'll, I'll show it in another video. But there are these tiny little springs. 
Um, and if you want to rekey it, uh, you notice how I took it all out and I don't care. Um, all you do is you take, I know this is in, as long as I know this is the right side pin one, I'll take it and I'll align it to the key on pin one like that. And right there it's attracting, so I know that I need it to repel. So when I put it into the Bible, I know it needs to go that way around, right? My gosh, focus on me, not on, not on this. Focus on this. Okay, so all I got to do is put it in the Bible that way around, right? Um, and that will, uh, that's how you put it back together. And I know I need one, I need pin three, and I need pin six. So I'll just connect them like that. And then I'll know the orientations to plug them in. Same thing on this side. I need pin one, and I just kind of let it, you know, snap to it so it gets the right polarity. Pin, it'll like to, there's pin two. And here is pin four. And I got really lucky with the, I guess the, the, the bidding. Uh, this side is all, um, this side's all red polarity to, to oh my gosh, I'm doing terrible camera job. All red polarity, push them away. This side's all green polarity, to push them away. I can imagine you could get other bidding where you'd have to flip this, you know, it's no big deal. You just have to flip it to go to the next one, flip it to go to the next one and tension in between. Um, I just got, got lucky I didn't have to do as many flips so I can get to a faster pick. Anyways, uh, hopefully that explains it enough. I'll show you the unbricking in the next video. Um, but that's the Mio EC. Thank you.